You know, when you, when you talk to a Muslim, he will say to you, the Christians are pagans. Really? Why? What, what make us pagan? Why? Tell us, please. Do we go around a stone? Do we born in the front of a stone in the shape of a private part of a woman? Do we believe that this stone is going to witness for us in the judgment day? Do we believe that the stone will have a tongue and eyes, which is very sexy and you know it? Hmm? We don't. It's you who do that. Do we kiss a stone and we lick it and Corona will be happy with it? And now the Kaaba is totally empty. Where is Allah? Isn't it your prophet who says that no plague will enter Mecca or Medina? Hmm? Where, what happened the prophet who prophesied that Allah, he preserved Mecca and Medina by the angels? And why now the Kaaba is empty? And actually the funny, right after Muhammad death, Muslims were dying in the city of Medina by a plague by thousands. Once I was in Medina and there was an outbreak of disease and the people were dying rapidly. But Muhammad he promised them, no plague can enter Medina, brother. The angels are protecting the Medina. I was sitting with Omar and the funeral passing, going through, passing by. And the people raised, appraised the diseased. Omar said, it has been a firm paradise. Where is the promise of Mecca will not be infected with such a disease? Look, all those hadith confirm the same. People dying, even the ruler of Syria, the Muslim, he died in, in, in disease. I mean, tens of thousands, there's a fool, his name is James White. He says, the Muslims uh, land was saved from the plague. I mean, this guy was an idiot when he talked. He make me, you know, die laughing at his stupidity. Who told you that the Muslim towns was saved from the plague, you idiot? Simply because nobody cared for them. What is written is the history of Europe, the history of civilization. Those people history, nobody read their history until now. Now we are reading the history for you. But who said to you they are saved from the plague? And this is exactly what happened now. In the USA, there's more than 100,000 people die from Corona, supposedly. But in Iran, there's 5,000 only die. But the president just two days ago, he made a mistake. He said that 20 million people, they have Corona in Iran. 20, 25 million. Let me search, search for it. They hide, they lie. People are dying from Corona everywhere. There is a new news in the news about what happened in Islamic countries. Because nobody care. Let us see. <clears throat> Look at this. I mean, who in the world would believe that 25 million infected with Corona and then only 5,000 they die? Who would believe in this garbage? 25 million. I mean, this is the quarter of the population of Iran, which means from every four, there's a guy, he have a corona. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then there's only 5,000 5, people die. This is Islam. And this guy, he made a mistake by saying that, by the way. He exposed the, 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 the Iranian, they are angry from him because they are trying to hide in the news. Like we have uh, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 25 million. It's like Joe Biden, you know, he cannot keep the water mirror inside his belly. So everybody have to know. So 25 million, but nobody died in Corona in Iran. In the USA, we have a million and 100,000, I don't know how many the, the, the total cases, and 100,000 people die. So how come the, the because they are, they lie, here they don't. I mean, if every, if a 25 million, what is the population of Iran, 100 million? That's mean all of them, they have Corona. Because if everyone, he go and he sit with his family, all of them, they have Corona, even if he stay home. Does it mean the whole country have Corona? All Muslims who claim to be scholars, mullahs, big beard, small beard, are welcome to challenge me to debate. But don't tell me, please, debate face to face. This is the face to face, as to as, is a stupid claim. Because you are making it, because simply you don't want to debate me. Everyone knows I do it in the internet. Face to face is the guy who want to run away and he want to find an excuse. It's like Hamas. Hamas, they say to the Jews, come to us face to face if you are a man. When the Jews come in the ground, Hamas disappear. I remember once when the, the Israeli, they landed in Beirut and they capture a leader of Hezbollah. Imagine the Israeli, they landed with their dogs. I mean, it's like going to a, for, a, for a picnic. They landed down in the highway with their dogs. They took the guy from the car. 
They put him in the helicopter. They went in the sky. Disappear. Not a single bullet from the Mujahideen. After the Israeli disappear for more than half hour, suddenly everybody is shooting. What happened? Where your gun was when the Israeli was in the highway with their dogs? Huh? Hezbollah, Amal, all those, you know, this garbage. Where were you when the Jews, they were in the ground capturing your mullah? They put him in a black plastic bag and they put him in the airplane and they took him. After the guys they arrived to Tel Aviv and then they start shooting in Beirut. Shooting at who? At Allah. This is how face-to-face -face work with them. When you are weak, they gang against you. If you are alone, they gang against you to conquer you. This is why we Christian, we should not be divided. For divide is the best way to conquer. And the devil, he knew that. So you Christians, if you really love the Messiah, your Lord, your Savior, you should love each other. We love the Muslims, but love to each other is way more important. Why? Because if we cannot love our brother in Christ, how we can love the Muslim? How we can be good to the Muslim if we cannot be good to each other? No Protestant, no Orthodox, no Catholic. I am a Christian. Christian is not a name was given to put in the shelf. It's a name belong to Christ. He is a Christ and I am a Christian. We are united by him. No Greek, no Hebrew, no free, no slave. So it doesn't matter where are you from. You are Asian, you are white, you are black. Racism will be destroyed by the love of Christ.